A new 9-11 is always a special event, and it's been seven long years since Porsche has put out an all-new version. But the question I want to ask today is, can we still consider it a sports car? It only takes a, a few kilometers in the new 911 to figure out this is a much more luxurious car. There's chrome all around. My car's got an optional leather interior, which you know jazzes things up just a bit. But also the key indicator of this is more of a GT car is this console. It's got a very kind of Panamera-like look with a lot of buttons where before all that was between you and the passenger seat was a gear shift. So my Carrera RS has come with the optional 7-speed double-clutch automatic. It's got uh, shifter paddles up here, allows you to do this very quickly. I can also shift down here if I want from the center console. Uh, there's also a 7-speed manual if uh, you really want more of a sports car feel in this car. Now with the goal of eking out a little bit more fuel efficiency, a lot of sports cars, not just Porsche, are moving to electric steering systems. And the biggest bugaboo is a lack of feel. True, uh, you've got that with the new 911 as well. There isn't that little kind of pitter patter that you have on the front end. It's something I noticed on the Boxer that I drove a couple of weeks ago. It's got the same kind of soft feel on initial turning, but from an accuracy, from a, a, a linearity in regards to the way it turn in, there's not that much difference. Is it livable? Probably only people with the old 911 would know this difference. As it's graduated into becoming a GT car, the 911 Carrera is, yeah, a little less nimble, a uh, little less tossable in the corners. But one of the benefits of the longer wheelbase and all the extra electronics is that this is a much safer car to drive. Uh, you know, gone are the days where you're going to oversteer this car out of a corner unless you're doing something really, really, really stupid. It's hard to argue that this latest 911 isn't the best car since the original was introduced in 1964. It's roomier, it's more comfortable, it's actually more fuel efficient, but it's no longer a sports car. And for that, you'll have to look at the new Boxster or the forthcoming Porsche Cayman arriving sometime in 2013. For the Toronto Star and Wheels.ca, I'm John LeBlanc.